So Darren Simons goes back to Cambridge with £8,000. Nine contestants left. Fastest finger first time again. Put the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time. You're next tonight to play for a possible £1 million audience. Nice and quiet, please. Keep it buttoned. I want them to concentrate. Here comes the next question. Starting with the earliest, put these people in the order they first went into space. So, four people coming up who've been into space, starting with the earliest, coming towards the present day. Here they are. <laughs> Helen Sharman, Yuri Gagarin, John Glenn, Neil Armstrong. <laughs> OK, this is the right order, then... Uh... Starting with the earliest, uh, Yuri Gagarin, the Russian, first in 61, John Glenn, then the American, 62, Neil Armstrong in 66, and the most recent of the four, Helen Sharman in 1991. That's the right order. Now, let's see how many of them got it right. These got it right, not many. Who was fastest? Roland Hughes in 7.34 seconds. <laughs> well done. Well done. Get on, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Go on Don't play for a million all. pounds. Why? Here we go again. This is Roland Hughes, who works for a lighting control company from Swanage in Dorset. Up there in the audience is son Ben, and watching at home are partner Sandra and other sons, Lewis, James and Alex. It was Sandra and Alex who got Roland to ring in. They said, you can win us a fortune. <laughs> Roland's favourite film is The Producers, and if they ever do a remake, he said he'd love to be one of the singing Hitlers. <laughs> Rather strange ambition role. Oh, yeah, no, had it, had it for many years. Great film, actually. Yep. Great film. So what do you do? What, what, what's your job? What, what do you actually do? Uh, make lighting controllers for the kind of lighting that you've got in here, mainly go into nightclubs, um, theatres, Theme parks. You like this lighting? It's a bit bright, isn't it? It's a bit, you know, a bit sudden, this stuff. Uh, I couldn't possibly comment, Chris. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just angling for a fight, really, with the lighting <laughs> controller. And you say you've never, ever, ever in your life won anything? No. no you must have, Everybody's won... Probably, probably something. Yeah, nothing memorable, anyway. Not even know, a bottle in a raffle or... Yeah, probably, but I can't remember it. It was probably a really good bottle or something. Probably drank but, it. Yeah, that's it. And you also, you would like to... I don't know, people's ambitions I find very strange. You would like to take all of the All Saints, nothing greedy, all of the All Saints and Liz Hurley walking in New England. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what yes, would you I do then? Say that. What would you do to while away the hours then? Oh, well, you know... Don't you get a word in edgeways, actually, Rob? No, no, that's right. You know, singing, acting, dancing, you know. Yeah. I don't think you find Liz Hurley does walking. I don't think she does that. Doesn't she? No, I think oh, it's all right. Oh, well, I'll cross her off the list. Put okay, just, else. just all of the All Saints yeah, then. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is you dressed up as a dancing <laughs> Hitler. Okay. Yeah. 15 questions, £1 million, three brand new lifelines. Got 50 50, got phone a friend and ask the audience. Just remember, there's nothing on my screen until Roland here gives me his final answer and it goes to orange. At that point, there's no turning back. Right, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, Roland, if you give me the right answer to question number one, it'll be the first thing of any note at all you've won in your life. Uh, it's worth 100 quid. Question number one, 15 between you and a million. Here's the first one. Which of these is an international radio distress call? New Year's Day, May Day, Valentine's Day, Wedding Day. May Day. Not Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Not. Only under certain circumstances. No May Day. You've just won £100. <laughs> the biggest and best thing you've won in your life, Roland. <laughs> what a start. You've got three lifelines. There's four between you and the first big milestone of £1,000. Take your time, have a look at number two. In which TV sitcom did Leonard Rossiter star as Rigsby? Rising Damp. Dry Rot. Fallen Arches, Sunken Foundations. Rising Damp. It's the right answer. Great series. Two hundred pounds. <laughs> well, you've won something else. That's two separate lots of hundred pounds you've won in a single evening. Have a look at question number three. It's worth three hundred quid. Here it is. Which word follows Oxford and Piccadilly to make the names of two London underground stations? Word follows Oxford and Piccadilly to make the names of two London underground stations. Opera. Pantomime, circus, 
Ballet. Circus. Is right answer. You got 300 quid. <laughs> What's in it for Ben then? If you if you win any money, anything for him? Mm, we haven't discussed that yet. Yeah. Means nothing. It means yeah, nothing, right. Ben. Right. Okay. Have a look. Question number four. Uh, 500 pounds. You can win. Give me a right answer. Here it is. Who wrote the popular children's book, The Cat in the Hat? Dr. Seuss, Dr. Crippin, Dr. Who, Dr. Leg. Dr. Seuss. Final answer? It's good, you got 500 quid. <laughs> right, well, no problem at all so far. You've got 500 pounds. Last point at which you could go home with nothing, I'm sure you won't. You have got all three lifelines. Have a look at question number five. It guarantees you're going home with your head held high with 1,000 pounds. Here it is. Which dessert is made from a casing of bread filled with raspberries, red currants, and other fruits? Spring pudding, summer pudding, autumn pudding, winter pudding. Summer pudding. Sure. Mm -hmm. Final answer. Mm -hmm. Ever made one? Uh, I have not. I have not. Ever eaten one? <laughs> I have. I probably have. Yeah. Final answer. <laughs> yeah. It's good. You got a thousand pounds. Well done, Rob. Much better, isn't it? You're happy. It's all right, isn't it? It's fine. Because you did say to me as you came up, you went, oh. <laughs> you got a thousand pounds guaranteed. Uh, you're ten away from a million. You haven't needed any lifelines at all yet. You've got 50 50, phone a friend and ask the audience. One percent of whom thinks a poop deck is on a car. <laughs> right. Question number six is worth two thousand pounds. Here it comes. What is the surname of the Manchester United brothers, Phil and Gary? Giggs. Neville. Skulls. Keen. Neville. You a fan? Uh, I like football, yeah. I'm not sort of partisan to any particular team. You know, not a supporter of any particular team. Final answer? Yep. It's good, no problem. You've got £2,000. <laughs> OK, have a look at question number seven. Money now starting to go up a bit steeply. Take your time. You've got 2,000 at the moment. You're guaranteed 1,000. You've got all your lifelines still. No problem at all so far. This is question number seven of a possible 15. What is the second highest mountain in the world? The second highest mountain. J1, K2, L3, M4. K2. Sure? Mm-hmm. Not M4. Not, not M4, for sure. No. K2. Know where it is? It's in the Himalayas. It's all right, you don't have to tell me this. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> proud of it. Final answer. Yeah. yeah. K2. Yeah. It's good, you just won £4,000. <laughs> and you still haven't needed any lifelines. Right, you've got 50-50, phone a friend, ask the audience. Have a look at number eight. Here it is. Isambard Kingdom Brunel was a famous name in which field? Astronomy, botany, engineering, medicine. Engineering. How do you know? Um, I know. Uh, I do know. Engineering, yeah. Ever met him? I have not, no, no, no. I think no. He's been dead for about 300 I years. I think he's. <laughs> <laughs> he's not been well for you some time. Wouldn't meet him in a very healthy condition. Though. Final answer. Yeah. It's the right answer. You've got 8,000 pounds. <laughs> so is it very um, lucrative then, being a lighting controller? No, uh, no. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> the look on your face, clearly not. No, the uh, look on the bank manager's face usually, uh, yeah. Well, you've got £8,000 at the moment. Uh, you still haven't used any lifelines at all. You're seven away from a million. Next one's worth 16000 It's question number nine. Here it is. Which country held its bicentennial celebrations in 1976? Australia, India, United States... France. 
which country held its bicentennial celebrations in 1976? Australia, India, United States, or France? You've got £8,000. It's worth £16,000. Yes, I'm not sure. I'll go 50-50. OK, computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave roll on the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Yeah, those were the two I didn't want. Um... Which country held its bicentennial celebrations in 1976? Australia or the United States? One of those is worth £16,000 to you. What are you thinking, Roland? I'm fairly sure it's the United States, because it's, it's the, you know, the, the bicentennial celebration of uh, Declaration of Independence. It is. I'm going to go with that, because I'd go with that, whatever anybody said. I'm going to go with it. Final answer. Yeah. Still going to go with it? Yeah. You have to now, it's gone orange. You just won £16,000. <laughs> well, 1776. Right. Now, you've got £16,000. You've still got phone a friend, and you can still ask the audience. Have a look at question number 10. It's worth £32,000. You would lose 15000 at this point if you did give me a wrong answer. Here it is. Which of these is a type of embroidery stitch? Lazy Daisy, Lazy Susan, Lazy Bones, Lazy Eye. I'm going to ask the audience. OK. <laughs> Please. Take it, you haven't done a lot of embroidery, then. No. no. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> right. He's got £16,000. Audience, it's worth £32,000. Rolling, you obviously don't have to take their answer. But let's have a look. Which of these is the type of embroidery stitch? A is Lazy Daisy. B is Lazy Susan. C is Lazy Bones. D on your computer is Lazy Eye. A, B, C and D. All on your computer keypads, please. All vote now. It's worth £32,000. Uh, 66% say Lazy Daisy, 12% Lazy Susan, 1% it's probably the same person. Um, <laughs> I thought a poop deck was on a car. Uh, they think it's Lazy Bones, 21% say Lazy Eye. It's quite clear cut, but uh, it's up to you, Roland. You lose 15,000 if you go with them and they're wrong. 66% are saying Lazy Daisy. I'll go with them. Which ones? The 66%? The 66%, please. Not the 1%. Yeah, yeah no, the 66%. Actually, final answer. Yep. Yep. Well done, everybody. You've just won £32,000. <laughs>